Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today is Wig Talk Tuesday, so sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I wanted to talk with you today just briefly about some of the negativity that may come your way as a wig wearer. I know I've addressed some of this on this channel before and we've talked about it, but today um, I wanted to talk about it a little bit more because I've encountered a couple of things in some of the wig groups that I'm a member of and I just it disturbed me. So I wanna talk about it with you guys because I know there's a lot of folks on this channel that do wear wigs every day due to hair loss. And I wanted to just address that today. One thing I want to say right off the bat is I'm very proud to be a member of some of the wig groups that I'm a member of. They are absolutely fantastic. They're a phenomenal group of women, and um, I am just so blessed to know, to know them. But there are some that I have actually had to leave the group because there's just drama. And you would actually think that wigs would be pretty drama free because it's pretty, it's pretty much like, do you like the wig? Do you not like the wig? I mean, it's pretty simple, you know, but here are people on here that are seeking help and seeking support and seeking support and seeking some affirmation from, from fellow wig sisters. And some of these people in the groups, they just don't give it. They live to cut, cut somebody down. And there's a few people who are member members of all of the groups, and it seems almost like they troll the groups looking for something negative to say to somebody about their wig. Now look, folks, I'm a big girl, and obviously I'm on YouTube, so I'm used to negative comments. It doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. I review a bunch of wigs. I know some look better than others. Y'all don't have to tell me. I know that. And I'm pretty secure in who I am. So my self-confidence is, is pretty good. So I don't have a lot of my identity wrapped up in what somebody else has to say about me, okay? But not everyone is like that. Some people, that really bothers them and they're going through one of the most traumatic experiences in their life, which is either chemo, loss of hair, loss of their identity, because our identity is a lot of times wrapped up in our hair. And people can't be supportive during that time. That just irritates the snot out of me. And I'm like, look, if you can't say something positive, swipe or scroll. Whichever one your phone does, do it. You don't have to comment to every picture you see. Well, I don't like that color on you. Well, gosh, maybe you need to do something else. I just don't like that. I'm just being honest. No, you're not being honest. You are not being honest. When you've got a news feed thread full of people who think the color looks good on you and then here you go, I don't like that color on you. I think it makes you look pale. You're not being honest. You're there to be contentious is what you're there for. And you have a need to be heard. If you have a need to be heard, go stand out on the street corner and preach the gospel. Now, that is, that's my recommendation for that. Go out on the street corner. Proclaim Guy Fawkes Day or something. Do something. But don't go tear down your fellow wig sister who is having a hard time. Sometimes these folks are like, this is my first wig. I really like her. I, I, I looked for six months to find just the right wig. I think I found it, and then bam. Please don't do that. There is enough hatred in the world, folks. We don't need to do that to one another. We need to support and lift one another up. I can't tell you how angry that makes me. Another one of the wig groups that I'm a member of seems to find pleasure in stirring up drama, one of the admins. And she's constantly knocking wig sellers. And look, I know there's sketchy wig sellers out there. There are. But some of the ones that she actually bashes are legitimate wig sellers. That I've, I know them. And they are legitimately trying to make a living in these hard times like everybody else is trying to do. 
They're not selling sketchy merchandise. They're not doing any of that stuff. All they're doing is they're offering a product for sale at a reasonable profit. People that are in business have to make money. Much as I wish I could put a wig on every head in America for free, I can't do that. I can't give you makeup for free. Not everyone. Now, I do do charitable contributions to folks, but I pick and choose that. I can't do that for everybody. I can't put a lipstick on every mouth as a Mary Kay consultant. I can't do it. I wish I could. That's my heart. I'd love to, but I can't. And just because somebody's trying to make a living doesn't mean you need to bash them. Now, I understand there are people who buy wigs for $10 and sell them for $300. I'm not talking about that. That's exorbitant. I'm talking about somebody who has an honest markup on wigs. And you know what, folks? That's just not right. It isn't right. If you don't like it, start your own business. And the same thing with folks on your on, that come on my channel and they have negative comments to say. Now, I've got to say, I've been really, really blessed with my community. You guys are wonderful. And most of the time, I just let my community take care of the negative comments because y'all do a great job of policing this. And I want to just say, I appreciate that. Because if there's a troll that gets on here, y'all take care of that real quick. And I appreciate it. Every now and then, though, one will get by and I'll have to block. And... The reason I do that, and I, I really don't like to censor people. I don't much believe in censorship, and I don't like to censor people's opinion. But I will say this. Please, when you make remarks on your keyboard, before you get ready to type, think about it. Is it kind? Is it going to help them? Is it going to make them feel better about themselves today? Now, I'm not saying lie. But I am saying the Bible is clear. There is a time to speak and there is a time to keep silent. Now, if you're going with your best friend wig shopping at a wig store and she asks your honest opinion and that's your best friend, that's the time to speak. You know, honey, I, I'm not sure that that's the best look for you. Let's see if we can't find something else. But the first words that come out of our mouths need to be, do you like it? Are you happy with it? If they are, we need to zip it. Because I'm not going to bash somebody else's self-esteem if they want to do that. If they want to wear it. And that makes them feel confident. It makes them feel vibrant. And it makes them feel sexy. Put the thing on their head. I don't care if it's like putting lipstick on a pig. Put it on. Wear it. Go out in public. And you rock it. One thing I have to say. The stigma of wearing wigs for white women is considerable. So we have to overcome that stigma already of people making fun of us and, you know, asking a ton of questions. People feel like they're entitled to say whatever they want to say. And I blame social media for that. I blame social media for a lot of the cruelty and just the mean things that people say to one another in the world. Because since there's little chance that some of the folks that you are friends with on social media, that you'll ever see them face to face, it's easy to be a keyboard warrior. But this is one area that we don't need to do that. We need to support one another. And if you do have to tell your friend, you know, I really don't like the way the looks of that wig on you, be kind about it. Don't just get on your keyboard and say, that looks horrible. I'd never wear that color. Or, gosh, I would never order from that company. I had this happen to me. Well, it's not about you at that particular moment. It is about that person and the wig they have on their head, not the one you have on yours. If you need affirmation, make your own post. That's what I've got to say. Now, as y'all can tell, I'm a little bit fired up about this. This is a little bit of a rant because I'm tired of seeing women tear one another down when we should be supporting one another, lifting one another up, and doing the best we can to help and encourage one another. Look, folks, times are hard. We don't know what's going to happen with this country and with the world. We don't know. So all we can do is just follow God and do the best we can. And one of his commandments, the second commandment he gave us, love your neighbor as yourself. Love God, love others, make disciples. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And before we open our mouths, 
it's good to keep that in mind. You guys, I hope you have not turned this off by this time. Today I'm wearing a wig by The Wig Company. It is from the Statements line. It is, ah, I don't know what it is. Yes, I do too. It is Essence in color F2629. And I have really enjoyed this little wig. I've worn her several times and she's just been a joy. I'm gonna be wearing her the rest of the day. And I really like the hairline. This is not, uh, this is not a, <laughs> This is not a, you know, commercial for the wig company, but I really do like this wig, and I love the hairline, and I love the color. She's just a pretty little wig. But today, I hope you all have stayed till the end of this. I know this has been kind of a rant, but, you know, I just, I this has been really irritating me for several weeks, and I just didn't know how to formulate this and put it on the channel. And today, I just put on the video, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to talk, and I'll edit it as I go. So, you know, I'm, I don't say this to hurt anybody's feelings, but I do say this because, yeah, we got to be nice to one another. We, we got to be kind. When you all get an opportunity, check out my website, Ninja Life Coaching, and please like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell to my channel. I'm trying to grow my channel a little bit, and I would appreciate it if you all could share and just show other people that I'm here. Um, you guys have a great day. I love you guys. You guys are a terrific community. None of this is directed at you. This is all directed just out to the world in general. If someone has been mean to you concerning your wigs, drop me a comment. I would really like to interact with you and just talk with you and just tell you that, you know, you, you don't need their affirmation. All you need to know is, just are you happy with it? It doesn't have to make anybody else happy but you. It doesn't even have to make your husband happy if you get down to that at the end of the day. They don't even have to like it. If you like it, and I'm not saying go out and be <laughs> commit civil disobedience against your husband, but I am saying that at the end of the day, it's your hair. It's your hair. And you have to feel good in it. You have to feel confident in it. You are the one that has to wear it all day long. It's you, not anybody else. So you got to be happy with it. And if you've had somebody be mean to you over your hair, let me know. I would love to love to have some dialogue about that on the channel. So I may go live about this one day because I feel really strongly about this, but um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless you. Maranatha guys, I love you guys.